Hey the guys, Hi Roller here to bring you some more Oblivion, and I'm not exactly where I left off before. I went and I did a little bit of boosting for some uh, attributes and some shit like that, and I also went to Vendicel. It's an alien ruin. Uh, alien ru yeah, alien ruin. Not alien ruin. God, I can't even fucking speak. Anyway, it's an alien ruin that has... Uh, the Umber Sword, and basically some really kick-ass ebony armor. And you can acquire this, like, pretty early on in the game, if you know what you're doing, that is. So, basically, in the last episode, we were told that we needed a Daedric Artifact. So, in order to do this right here, I think I get the, uh, the Ring of Kajidi, something like that. Uh, they're unconscious, and... I think it requires me to... Yeah, I have found the Shrine of Purity? Purity? But something is wrong with his worshippers. They seem frozen in time, mindless, none move or speak. You must be level 10 to begin this quest. Okay, so, um, basically... We need to be level 10 to do this quest. I'm gonna go ahead and make two saves. Because there's actually a little something that you can do here. You can boost your blade skill. Uh, basically, what you have to do about that. I'll, I'll do a little bit of a, a little bit of teaching here for a second. You go to gameplay, and you more or less you turn your uh, difficulty all the way up, and uh, you just start attacking these people randomly. Because like if you're under level 10, they don't attack you. Um, you don't get penalized for anything, and it's just a cool way to rack up your level and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, you can do that, and, uh, don't say I never taught you anything or gave you anything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, for this save, I'm gonna go ahead and get to level 10 right quick. Uh, it, it, it would probably be a lot easier if I just, uh, fast-traveled somewhere. I could either go to an inn, or, uh, yeah, I think I'll go to an inn. Oh, there's enemies nearby, huh? What kind of enemies? What kind of magical enemies are around here? Yeah, I just woke up not too long ago. That's why I can't get my words, like, flowing all that great. Where the hell are the enemies? Just like I've said before, like, I can't hear anything that comes through my my headphones because of the, uh, the Elgato, the way it likes to record. God, with all that frame lag, just trying to load up the area is just as bad as playing it on the computer. I don't see any enemies. I don't know what's happening. Apparently they're still around. I guess I'll just run around and keep tapping the, uh, the back button. That way I'll know if the coast is clear of enemies or not. I, I don't see how there's still enemies around. I don't... Well, there's a fucking rat. But what the hell else is chasing me? I don't I don't understand. Oh, okay, I guess it was just a glitch then. Alright, so let's go to the Imperial Bridge Inn. And, uh... Go ahead and get a little bit of rest. That way we can level up some. I kind of wanted to have my blade skill all the way at um, level 100 before I rested and stuff like that because enemies level up with you. Actually, they level up twice as fast, if I remember correctly. So what, uh, whatever level you are, um, the enemies are twice your level. So keep that in mind whenever you do this shit. God, I go through one loading screen to go through another loading screen. How can I help you? All right. The Imperial I gotta talk to this a pleasure elf. To speak with you. Pleasure to speak with you. I need a bed. But first, Good how about some training? Let's get to tra knowledge, I'll pay for it. I don't care. Knowledge, I got plenty of gold. Knowledge, knowledge Alright. I'll barter with prices. you. What kind of stuff do you have? Yeah. Tell me more. Uh, persuade. I can't do anything with them. What kind of rumors you got? 
They're said to mark the place someone has died. Hmm. It's not the nicest bed in Cyrodiil, but it's cheap. Ten gold. And it's yours for the night. I'll take it. Very well. You can use either bed on the top floor. Oh, and do watch your step. Alright, so I can use any bed that I want on the top floor. That's pretty cool, I guess. Gates have opened outside cities all across I just use a random bed. Are you sure? Absolutely. Uh, I'll take this one in the back corner. I guess not. I'll take this one then. I'll just sleep for an hour. As long as you sleep, that's the only thing that matters. Um, I'll go with strength, endurance, and um, maneuver, balance, fatigue, blah, blah, blah. Damage done by bows governs the skills of security, sneak, and marksman. Uh, speed, yeah, I need that. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. That's good. I remember him. A clear conscience for what I'm about to propose. Yeah, when um, I killed Umbra, uh, apparently I notified these guys. So, um, yeah, I'll say nothing. You prefer silence then? As do I, my dear child. As do I. For silence, not the symphony of death. The orchestration of Sidney's himself. Ironic, then, that I come to you now as speaker for the Dark Brotherhood. My name is Lucian Lachance, and my voice is the will of the Night Mother. She's been watching you, observing as you kill, admiring as you end life without pity or remorse. The Night Mother is most pleased. That is why I stand here before you. I bear an offering. Opportunity to join our rather unique family. Uh, I'm listening. Then heed my words, for I will not repeat them. On the green road to the north of Breville lies the inn of Ill Omen. There you will find a man named Rufio. Kill him, and your initiation into the Dark Brotherhood will be complete. Do this, and the next time you sleep in a location I deem secure, I will reveal myself once more, bearing the love of your new family. Um, Rufio will die by my hand. Excellent. Now please, accept this token from the Dark Brotherhood. It is a virgin blade. And thirsts for blood. May it serve your endeavors well. Now, I bid you farewell. I do hope we'll meet again soon. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, we got a Dark Brotherhood quest to do now. But I have to rest again. I still need to level up some. I'll do endurance and that and uh, do some willpower sleep again need to do a lot of leveling uh, let's do this I'm not sure how many levels I gained while doing this like I'm really not sure But, I think I've gained enough to get to level 10. Maybe. Just maybe. Um, what does this shit do again? Willpower, what, what does that even do? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't need to focus on willpower after this. I think I'll focus on speed next. I'll do that. To be completely honest with you guys, I don't even know if uh, I'm at a high enough level to uh, do any of those quests or not. What does intelligence do? Conjuration, Mrs. Uh, security, sneak, marksman. I'll do speed. I'll just do speed. 
Not the drug. <laughs> Not the fucking drug. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this year will be the last one. Oh wow. Or am I going to continue to level? Holy shit. <laughs> Can I level again? Holy fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'll, I'll just get it to level 40. Endurance is maxed out. I'm still leveling. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Can I still level? Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. I can still level. Uh, not sure which one. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was level 2. No, I'm level 13. <laughs> Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's um, go do that Daedric quest. I'm not going to worry about side quests until after I beat the main story. Because I want to get the main story out of the way first, you know. That's kind of the whole reason why I'm making these videos. Is uh, to play through the main story. And apparently I can still level up, so... That's pretty awesome. But yeah, I'm making these videos so I can play through the main story. Like, I have all the DLC for this game. I purchased that a long time ago. Um, when I still had access to uh, Xbox Live and everything. Like, I purchased all the uh, the DLC a long time ago. And I have the uh, Game of the Year edition. So I can uh, do a bunch of that stiffs. What's going on here? Oh, they're, they're still unconscious. I'll be damned. I can still use that then. Okay. So uh, I'll delete this. I'll save here. Then I'll make uh, I'll make three saves. I guess that'll work. Oh, still unconscious. I'm at the high enough level. This one moves. A welcome change. So, mortal, you have found my shrine, and you have seen my followers. They are an embarrassment to me. The fools cast a spell in the hopes of summoning me to them. It was prideful and foolish, and it has had its consequences. My followers are trapped between worlds. Their bodies here on this plane, their souls in oblivion. I would have you reunite the bodies and the souls. I will transport you to the plane of oblivion in which they are trapped. Find their souls. When all are collected, I will return you Return to me when you are prepared. Hmm. Okay. I'll make this my active quest. And, uh, I will save the game again because, remember, we are fucking spastic whenever it comes to saving, g saving games. <laughs> are you prepared to travel to Oblivion? Not really, but I gotta do this shit. I'm so close to beating this game, like the main story. Kind of forgot like how fun this game actually is. All right, I gotta go reunite all these cunts. I should probably use this torch as long as I can. It's kind of dark here. <laughs> all right, who am I closest to? Get some of these guys over here, I guess. Damn it. The 
fuck are you? Oh, I'm fighting clan fears now? Well, that's some shit. Flame at your knock. Still see these fucking imps. Or scamps or whatever they are. Is that another one? Oh my god, that's another one. They just keep coming. Well, these fucking assholes. Jesus! I don't think I was leveling up my character right. I mean, I was kind of focusing on every fucking thing I was telling me to focus on, so... I am building a warrior character here. I'll be goddamned to have like a hundred block and a hundred heavy armor and all that shit. The fuck are you? Oh, that's one of them. Alright, now to go after one of these other assholes. <sighs> Not really a hard quest, just very time consuming. Totally didn't even read that. To be honest with you guys, like, I would trade all of that acrobatic skill just for athletics. Just to be able to run faster because this shit is, like, painful. <laughs> like, painfully slow. More of these fucking cocksuckers. I hope my sword doesn't end up breaking, because, uh, my armorer skill is not high enough to repair this sword. I guess I'm jumping across this shit. Gotta go get his soul or hers. Oh, that's a that's a she. Put this back away and continue to run. I'll hop back across. It's a whole hell of a lot easier than like traveling through all those fucking places that it wants me to travel through. Just navigating the terrain and stuff like this. Just using your acrobatic skill. Alright, I think I gotta go this way now. So many enemies. Ah, oh, fuck him. Unless it starts chasing after me, I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm not gonna jump all the way up there just to fight a fucking monster. This is ridiculous, man. It still fucking makes me flinch. Jesus. That's the next thing I need to f focus on, is uh, how much magicka I have, and uh, restoration. I could use that shit. Because I'm not always going to have potions when I need them. And that's the truth. I'm not always going to have potions whenever I need them. See how many magical enemies I have to fight here. A bunch of fucking flaming enemies. Or enemies that shoot flame, rather. Alright, got another soul. Alright, these here are fairly close together, I think. Uh, 
Not too sure where the hell that is. And I don't think that I can make that jump across the magma. And where the fuck did you come from? Yeah, I don't think I can make that jump. I'll die way before I get on that other side over there. That's where I need to be, though. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try it. Just for the hell of it. Let's just try it. I mean, there's not much that we can lose. Not if I save the game, anyway. Jeez. Fuck. See what I mean? Damn. I just swam across a sea of lava. Who the hell else can do that shit? Yeah, now I would have never been able to navigate all the way throughout this thing. I'm kind of glad I swam through that, uh, lava lake. Oh god, Daedroth. Practically have to kill a dinosaur. Let's go for this one first. soul. Now I have to go get the last one. Yeah, I can, uh, I can say that this here is one of the more time-consuming ones. To me, anyway. Especially because the, uh, the level that I'm doing this at. Alright, I got them all. Now how the fuck do I get out of here? Will he instantly transform me? I have found all the souls, blah 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 blah. Was open the gate for me and found I should head back to where I entered this room. God. If I can navigate my way back, sure. Why not? If I can find my way back, that is. I guess I can go the, uh, the routed path. See if I can find my way back. There would be two fucking enemies right next to something like that. See if I can find my way back. Unless that waypoint's gonna show me the way. That's kind of what its name is. Waypoint. Is that the portal? I think that might actually be the portal that I need. And that makes it worse because they fucking run from me. Just fucking stay and fight. I wasn't even gonna attack you unless you attacked me in the first place. Fucking scumbag. Alright, I need to go through here. Oh shit, I fucking hate the enemies in this game, man. Like they start to attack you and then they run. <laughs> oh, gotta stretch! That's what irritates me the most. I have returned to the mortal realm, and the souls of Purity's followers have gone back to their bodies. I shall speak with the Daedra again. <sighs> yep, they're back. 
fuckers. Ungrateful little cunt fucking assholes. My followers, mortal. The natural order is restored. And for this, I thank you. Perhaps they have learned the folly of attempting to touch a Daedra prince. Take this with my blessing. May it bring you order. Purity was grateful for my help. He has given me Spellbreaker as a reward. Uh. Okay. I thought that I was supposed to be getting the Ring of Kajiti. I didn't know that I got a fucking shield that's worth like 16,000 gold. Uh, I know how to remedy this. <laughs> I know, I'm such a fucking cheater. I'm a scumbag, I know. I'm such an asshole. Piece of shit scumbag. But, I was misled, so... <laughs> Martin can go fuck himself. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, I got, um, I got both of my saves here. Uh, in case I want to go back through and get my blade skill all the way to level 100 and then like go back through that and then do everything and then continue on into the next video like I, I, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and if you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead and hit that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already because every little bit helps and it's just a click away and I will see you guys in the next video so please stay tuned and peace out everyone.